So Shure sent me some Aeonic 50 wireless headphones for me to do a little review on. In the box it came with a USB-A to USB-C cable. You also come with an aux cable, a manual, and then this thing. Power button here at the bottom, you just go and press and hold it I'm assuming. Yeah, it comes up, Shure right there. Connected. All right, now I'm just gonna use them a lot, so stay tuned for the full review. All right, it's been a month. Let's just get right into it. Combination of aluminum, plastic, and the faux leather on the ear pads and the headband. It's got a nice heft to her. Feels like a premium headphone. They do seem a bit large and kind of clunky, but I like the design of them. The way the headband attaches to the ear pad is kind of unique. Little accents like the shiny Shure logo on each side of the ear cup. Shure branding on the top of the headband. Some good looking stitching. And I got the white color, which I really like with the kind of beigey brown, but they also come in a dark brown and black. The folding action they got going on kind of tripped me out because it was a bit stiff at first, but now it's loosened up and it makes it really easy to just fold up put in your case, carry them around. The ear pads are really easy to take off. You can clean them, change them out if they get all beaten up. However, the button controls could be way better. When I'm trying to change the volume, I sometimes press the power button or accidentally turn the volume way too high when trying to change a song. It's just not obvious when reaching back. I don't know which buttons I'm pressing. And then the design of the case is really good. It feels like it actually protects them. It's quality, but it's just massive. And I'm not really a huge fan of the strap inside. I know it's probably to keep the headphone in place, but it's just kind of annoying pulling it in and out. I do like the big mesh area though for putting cables or whatever you gotta put there. So the Aeonic 50's got more of a balanced sound to them, which had me a little iffy at first because you're not getting that sub bass rumble on some headphones. Like on the AirPod Maxes, you really feel the bass. And these things definitely have bass, it's just not rumbly. Basically what I'm trying to say here is big bass lovers aren't gonna get the full satisfaction of really feeling that deep sub bass. Instead there's more of an emphasis on upper end bass frequencies which makes vocals sound crystal clear and sometimes feel like you're in the same room as the artist. Whoa Frank! I feel the smiles on me! Sounds so good! Which made them really good for gaming, the listening to audio books, podcasts, watching videos, capacity. and they've become my go-to's for video editing. Hey look I'm editing this video about the Shurionic 50s with the Shurionic 50s on my head while coming in at about 340 grams these headphones are on the heavier side but i haven't found them to be uncomfortable i've worn them for hours while editing or listening to music they have big plush juicy ear pads that are over ear style there's not too much squeeze the headband does a good job at distributing the weight doesn't grip on your hair or pull or tug at it and they're really easy to adjust to your head too with the satisfying deep clicking noise of the headband and the folding mechanism also acts as a little micro adjustments to sort of wrap around your head and just get that fine, fine adjustment feel. And I've worn them with glasses, no issues either. Even with the glasses, I can wear them and they don't squeeze too much, they're fine. They got decent noise cancellation, which can be adjusted in the phone app from max to normal. There's also a transparency mode, which they call environment mode. They're just different like that. And that works good too. You can adjust how much of your surroundings you want to hear in the app with their slider. I can hear the train. Nothing groundbreaking. It's not like amazing noise cancellation or top end transparency mode, but it gets the job done. And overall, the app has worked really well. There's no big glitches or crashes or anything. You got your EQ in, change settings, update your firmware, things like that. Sure says you get about 20 hours with noise cancellation on, which isn't the longest I've seen, but after a month of using them wireless and wired, I still haven't had to charge them yet, but that'll depend on how you use them. Either way, a quick 15 minute charge gets you about four hours of use. I don't think battery life's gonna be an issue for anyone. I'm gonna now walk away and see how far until it starts glitching. Oh, it's glitching. <laughs> I don't know how far this is. Yeah, just don't go past this far and you should be good. They obviously connect through Bluetooth. You can connect up to two devices at the same time. But there's also a wired option too with their aux cable, but it's a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter aux cable. So just don't lose it unless you got another one of those laying around. They come in at $300 USD, which puts them in that higher end market. And for comparison, AirPod Maxes are 550 and the Sony XM5s are 400. In order to EQ them, the noise cancellation can't be on max. It's gotta either be reduced to normal or turned off or in environment mode. I don't know why you can't use any EQ settings while the max noise cancellation is on, but... And there's also no auto pause when taking the headphones off. So if, you, if you're playing music and then you take them off, they're still gonna play. They don't have any sensors or anything that tell if they're off your head. I would say at high volumes, these things do leak sound a decent amount. 
Okay, that's like max volume. If you're looking at these for a gym headphone, I don't think I would use them. It's just not the vibe. But I mean, hey, if you wanna rock these at the gym, go for it, but they look a little, uh, they look too uh, professional or something. And I'm not sure how waterproof or sweat resistant they are, so use at your own risk. But overall, I think these are a really decent headphone. I think any studio setting, I think these are gonna treat you well. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything I've said, drop it in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.